Hello and welcome to another Django tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to go ahead and create a database for our um, project that we're going to be working on. Now right at this moment it is not necessary to have a uh, database because we don't have an application or any data to put in it. But when we created the Django app itself or project I should say, the project ourselves, um, <clears throat> in the settings file there is some um, applications already included so let's take a look at them settings.py file and <clears throat> in here there's installed apps all right and these are apps that shift or ship with uh, Django's project one's the admin and that's the admin panel authenticate that's how we authenticate users content types sessions messages static files all right so the application applications that are most used in Django projects so they ship with the um, Django application. <clears throat> now with that being said, these are applications that have uh, data that needs to be stored on our uh, in our database. So I like to, when I start a project, to go ahead and get these um, initiated into our database and then when I start creating my own apps, um, I'm not too concerned about these applications and what they're doing in the database at the moment. All right, so it's kind of like baby steps towards building something bigger. And this way we limit our issues down the line. So I always go after I create my project, I immediately go and create my database. So I'm just building up to something big, all right? So we got, we got our um, installed apps here. Now if we go down and look at um, databases, we're gonna create a database. And right here is some uh, generic settings for our database in the settings.py file and it says SQLite 3 right here and SQLite 3 here. Well what we're going to do is create a database and it's going to be using the SQLite 3 software. Alright now SQL, SQLite is not a preferred uh, database for uh, deployment but for development it is very useful. It's very light so you're, it doesn't slow down your computer or anything like that but it's not very secure and it, it can't really handle everyday use so <clears throat> what we're going to do is create the SQLite database and then when we go to deploy then we're going to use a different database at that time alright so let's go ahead and create our database and it's fairly simple to create first off um, I don't believe we're in the right area so let's go ahead and do ls and we need to be where manage.py is. Right now we're one folder down from that, so let's go ahead and do cd dot dot slash, and now we list out, and here's manage.py. So now we're gonna give a simple command called python manage.py um, migrate, and this will initially create our database for us. So let's go ahead and do that. Do python manage.py migrate and you'll see in a moment it's going to go ahead and create our database for us and it says operations to perform apply all mi migrations and says sessions authenticate administrate administrator or admin I should say and content types so it goes through and creates tables for us and if we look through we got several tables like users last login users uh, user username user email max length and then these are just tables that are initially set up with the applications that come default with Django but we do now have a database set up so I know that works so when I go through and now create our app um, shortly maybe two tutorials from now we're gonna create our own app if I hit us if I snag or hit a snag down there I know it's probably my code and not something that's in Django all right because they already created the database with the apps that are already included, so I'm good to go there. All right, so <clears throat> we can also look in our files that a couple things have happened, and it, I don't know if you had yours open or not, but two files are created: PyCache and dbsqlite3. And here's our database. Um, not very easy to read, right? But it's designed to be that way. So uh, there is ways to read it. Uh, I believe by getting some software that could read this but hey you don't need to read it alright so we created two files when we ran migrate it was PyCache or I should say directory and then database SQLite 3 
So great, we got our database set up and ready to go. So in the next tutorial, we're gonna launch our server and check to make sure our uh, website works on the server. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website, learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to uh, share the video, and don't forget to like it. We'll see you in the next tutorial.